Hello and welcome to the Urban Ecology Center in my backyard. I'm Tim from the research department answering your questions and the question today is what is the largest butterfly in Wisconsin? And the answer is the appropriately named giant swallowtail which is about the size and shape of this ceramic bowl with about a six to seven inch wingspan measured from the tip of the forewing to the tip of the forewing. And incidentally, the largest butterfly in the world is the Queen Alexandra's bird wing, which has about a 10 to 12 inch wingspan is the shape and size of this dinner plate. So largest butterfly in the world, largest butterfly in Wisconsin. Thanks for the question. Hi, my name is Ethan Bott, and I'm part of the research team, and I'm answering your question about how bird migration is going in Wisconsin. Well, to say the least, we are only a week or two away from peak migration. We've had massive bird movement throughout the country, indicating that we're only a day or two away from this. We're seeing waterfowl numbers decreasing as we're several weeks past their peak migration. We're also seeing dark-eyed junco numbers decreasing as they move north, and we're seeing the songbird, the song sparrows replacing them. In terms of the warblers, we had, we've had really strong numbers of yellow-rumped warblers the past few weeks, and the other warblers will replace them now. And for the, the, the hummingbirds and the uh, Baltimore Orioles, they're coming here any day. So be sure to leave out, leave out halved oranges, uh, jelly, and nectar food for them. Otherwise, happy birthday. Hi, my name is Maggie Steinhauer, and I'm a part of the research team at the Urban Ecology Center. And I'm going to answer the question of what is the best native plant I can plant in my yard? My mind immediately went to blue giant hyssop, which is a part of the mint family and is wonderfully cold hardy, which is perfect for Wisconsin. Um, this plant attracts multitude of pollinators like bumblebees, butterflies, and hummingbirds while deterring pests like rabbits and uh, deer. Not only is this plant lovely to look at, blooming in mid to late summer, um, but it has a wonderful sweet aroma and flavor that you can actually steep into a tea. I suggest that you look more into this plant, learn a little bit more about it, and consider planting it in your yard like I am hoping to do in my yard.